Hey guys, and welcome back to this week's edition of Grandma's Cookbook, where we're going to have something called an amazing coconut pie. And I can at least tell you with absolute certainty that I've never had a coconut pie like this. And I don't know if you can hear me air quote over the word pie, but it'll all make sense soon. So let us begin with making an amazing coconut pie. Into a bowl, we'll combine two cups of milk with three-fourths of a cup of sugar, one-half cup of biscuit mix, which is just any instant-made biscuit little packages you get at the grocery store. Just use half a cup of that. Four eggs, one-quarter cup butter or margarine, and one-and-a-half teaspoons of vanilla. Combine that all together with a hand blender for about three minutes, and then pour into a nine inch pie pan and let stand for about five minutes. Then sprinkle on top one cup of sweetened coconut. Bake in an oven at 350 degrees for 40 plus minutes. Serve warm or cool. I let mine go for about 45 minutes and this is the result. Let it cool for a little bit and how did it taste? weird. Uh, my brain was very confused because it felt like this was very eggy. A little bit of coconut. So it was kind of like uh, French toast. Felt like it was missing maple syrup or something. And I did not like it. It was a weird coconut quiche, maybe? I don't know. But I decided maybe it just needed a little bit more coconut. So I decided to give it another shot, only this time, instead of the two cups of milk, I just replaced it with two cups of coconut milk and gave it a shot. Also baked it for 55 minutes just to toast the coconut a bit more and see if that would have changed the flavor at all. And here's the end result. It seemed to split a little bit, but it's more of just an aesthetic thing. Let it cool for a little bit, and I gave it a shot again, and it did not change it in any way. I think it's safe to say that this amazing coconut pie, I don't think it's a pie. I don't think it's amazing. And it's barely coconut. This one's a bit of a dud. I would very much avoid doing this one on your own at all. This, this, this was terrible. Uh, so we're going to try again next week to hopefully see if maybe the next one in this cookbook's any better. I mean, I'm, I'm flipping to it now. I've not heard it before. There's a lot of steps in this one, so come back next week and I'll see if uh, we can't get a winner this time. Thanks all for watching. We'll see you real soon.